Hello, I am Lucius Plagarius, the Great Pandemic of Worlds. And <clears throat> unfortunately, the Zanes decided to do a bit of head fuckery with me, so I couldn't make videos for a while. So I thought I'd continue in the same vein as my last video, this time expanding on how to do an apocalypse army over the last one, which was, of course, a normal army. I believe there are three types of apocalypse armies you can do. First is narrative, which is pretty much any model you have, like Blood Angels and Necrons. Thankfully, <laughs> Guy Haley retconned that somewhat bit of Matt Ward dickery into something more intelligent, i.e. Necrons fucking half up. <laughs> Necrons fucking off halfway through the battle. Anyway, the second is your basic one chapter, agent, preferable, etc., etc. Uh, and my favourite is the final one, is, is, is the final one, and that is the multi-faction army. I love doing these, it gives you so much choice and it gives you so much, so many options to do. Anyway, <clears throat> I, first I would say choose a keyword, which means you can extend into many factions or many points. Like, uh, I'm doing Imperium, you could do Craft Worlds, which would allow you to include Ulfway, um, Beotan or Chaos, which would be like demons, Heretics, Heretics Astartes, you know, traitors. Or even, I mean, to be honest with you, if you do that one, you could quite easily throw in some Renegade um, Imperial Guard or Knight. So, I mean, it's, this is about choice more than anything else. So I started with my Imperial Guard. One night, I was going to do Katakan, but getting Katakan models is proving somewhat problematic. So I'm a Doom Cadian, I am getting some Catacan to add to it soon, so I started with my AG. Anyway, your first thing you should do is pick one or two main factions. These would be the backbone to your army. Mine are the Blood Angels and Imperial Guard. And as with building a single army, you kind of need to make sure every detachment is going to have a specific goal. Or meaning, it's got to have a reason to be there. My Blood Angels are fast, so they're my fast striking, and my Imperial Guard are pretty much my heavy support. I got Grey Whites, uh, pff, Grey Whites, Grey Knights, and, of course, some Death Watch. So, I got a bit of a mass infantry with those guys, as with Flyer Backup. Bit of Admech, and Inquisition. Anyway, I digress. Anyway, <laughs> I said that again. I would also make one of your detachments, majoritively, majoritively a conversion detachment, something that would be completely different from whatever you would, most people would build. To me that would be one of my Imperial Guard detachments, which is my Orc Armageddon Orc Hunters. Well you know what I fucking mean anyway, so fuck it. And there would be, I just thought, you know what, I was looking for the codex and there was a nice picture of a young lady stabbing an Orc in the head, so I quite like that. So I made mine all female. For two reasons, it looks fucking cool and to be honest with you, it's a fucking challenge. None of that female social justice fucking bollocks which we hear about every day. So once you've got this, you need to know, like I said, need to know which what, what you, which detachment is going to do what. Incl but you've also got to add in the fact that these are also going to be used as individual armies. So they're not going to be so you've got to kind of do it like on a small scale and a large scale, but focus on one on the larger scale. Like I said, with my Blood Angels, it's a very fast army, three land speed of storms, uh, 15 death company, uh, 10 are being painted right now, which is why they're not in the photos, um, 10 sanguinary guard bikes, with just like three troop choices and a battle predator. Well, as my Imperial Guard, Cadian, it has two Lehman Russes, uh, two Sentinels, Bulgrins, and basically all my true choices have a heavy weapon. So they're there to like grab, a, to, uh, be on the objective and just take it and just hold it because they have the heavy weapons to back them up. As I said, my Death Watch and in, in, uh, my Death Watch and my Grey Knights are a well, they're a bit of a horde army for Space Marines. There, uh, I do have a Dreadnought for my Death Watch, but yeah, they're pretty much there just to march down field blasting and chopping everything inside. 
Admech, no clue until Saturday. Well, when I get Forge Brain, of course. And that's basically that's that's what it's going to be. And it does open a lot of options. Like you can now have tight. And you're not rest point restricted as much. Where a Warlord Titan at 500 points isn't going to be such an issue when it's going to be when it's only 10% of your entire army. See, if it's, um, no, if to me, uh, anything under 2,000 points to play a 500 point model, I feel is a waste, to be honest with you, because it's one model and it takes up 25%. You've got to kind of go uh, less than 20% per model, rather than the full, because it's just a lot of points for no reason and it's kind of a reason why I'm not playing Belisarius Call with my ad mech at the moment because of his point cost and he would be like a third of the points because it's I've got only small detachment I've only got to get starter and that's a cool you know the heretical fucking Magos twat anyway so once you've sorted this out and you've sort of worked out what you're going for if you're going for like I need to go for nibs nibs would be a good one to go for because you can do Gene Sealer Cults, you can do Tyranids, and you can of course do some Imperial Guard. And with like Necromunda models and even branch out into some Age of Sigmar. Um, I've done some Rough Riders using Sisters of Fawn. Um, they're unpainted at the moment. They are at the back. and But it does, it opens up so much that you can do. And if you've got any imagination at all, you can literally play any army that you want and you could just kick ass i mean i'm getting necron soon well because forge brain and that's it and that's all you need to do anyway i've been lucius picarius the great pandemic of worlds and thanks for watching like and subscribe you know the drill bye bye